Hey, it's Pierre. I'm here in Squash Source World Headquarters with a new review um, and sort of demonstration slash stroke explanation of how I'm measuring racket stiffness. Uh, anyone is welcome to give this method a try and see if it works for you or poke holes in my theory of why this is, a, a, you know, just Tell, tell me this isn't a good way to do it, but it's just the only way I've really found. One of the things that when you're doing racket reviews, sort of, and hitting with rackets, you kind of want to know what the stiffness of the racket is, is like. People say, oh, it's stiffer, or it's, it's not as stiff. And I, I found myself thinking, oh, this racket's stiffer, and then somebody else would try it and be like, oh, it's just really um, soft, or, or vice versa. So I, I was looking for some way to measure it to, so that I wouldn't go crazy. Um, with telling you just things that are completely made up. So I found this app and it's called Racket Tune. And I'll show it to you in a second because it's actually on the phone that I'm recording this with. So I need to switch to a different camera and a different angle to show you that. But I need to explain the setup first. So this app is actually to record, um, it's more meant to, to determine the racket stringing tension. And, but I haven't never really gotten it to work that, for that. I'm going to keep trying, but but the, the the racket stiffness does seem to be something I can get a consistent reading on. And so I'm going to do a, do a live uh, reading of my current racket. The um, this is the Dunlop Evolution uh, Hyperfiber Plus model from 2017. And and I've measured this before at, at, with a stiff. A stiffness of 163 Hertz it's like a measure of vibration in the frame so I'm going to measure it again right now and hopefully I'll come up with a very similar reading and not something completely different in which case everything I've said about racket stiffness you can just throw out the window um, but before in previous attempts I found that it does come out as a consistent number so it's it's something I don't know if what it really is telling you um, if it's really telling you about the stiffness or if there's more to it, but it, it's somehow it's measuring the vibrations in the frame and coming up with a consistent racket stiffness number. So here we go. So what you need is your racket. I'm going to show you my technique so that because I'm trying to do it in a consistent way. And here I have the official squash source whacking stick, which is a piece of PVC pipe uh, that is three quarter inch. I don't think it matters too much what you use. I just needed something that I could whack my rackets with and not feel bad. And I didn't want to use other rackets and kind of mess them up. So this is the technique I use. I hold the racket, it's strung. I don't know if that makes a difference and that's one thing I need to test later. Um, I hold the racket by the end of the grip like that and I take the official whacking stick and I whack the frame. Now listen. I don't know if you can hear that boom, vibration sound, but that's what the app is measuring. So um, what you do is you, you keep whacking it with the official whacking stick and then the app is gonna, you're gonna see it in a second, the app has this white circle that kind of continues to measure until it feels like it's got a, an accurate enough reading over so many attempts. So now I'm gonna switch to um, a different view so you can see what that looks like. All right. Hang on. Okay, here is the Racket Tune app open on my phone. And we're going to go to Tension. And it's already reading my voice, that red jagged line. I'm going to go to Setup. I'm going to go to Frame Frequency which automatically measures in Hertz. And then I'm gonna to go to done. And then I'm gonna press reset. And then I'm gonna keep talking, uh, I'm gonna stop talking. And I'm gonna hit the racket the way I described earlier in the video by uh, whacking the frame with the whacking stick here. And you see that white line that's starting to form here? That's my voice that it's, it's measuring. But I'm gonna be quiet and just measure the um, the racket itself after I press reset. So hang on. All 
All right, you saw how it took, well, it got to 164 before I started talking, and you saw how the white line took two whacks to get it all the way around to get a complete measurement. Now, hang on, let me switch back to the other camera. Okay, so hopefully that made sense. Um, the reading that we came up with, I'm pretty sure before I started talking in the review, was 164 hertz. And, and luckily it does kind of match the number I threw at the beginning of this video when I measured it weeks ago, which was 163 hertz. So it does seem consistent over time. And maybe it's gonna be a useful way for, for me to provide an objective measure of racket stiffness. Um, one thing I forgot to mention is that the reason I'm doing this review here is, as opposed to at the courts where I usually, where I actually tried to do this review recently is when I'm at the courts, I can't get a reading and on the, on the app. And whereas here you saw, it took me just two hits with the stick. When I'm at the courts, I'm like whacking it hard and it's not really picking up the sound. And I think it's because here I'm in a, an enclosed space. I'm in a bedroom and and at the courts, um, it's a much bigger cavernous space and you can't, um, it doesn't pick up the sound as well. So that's just something to keep in mind. If you can't get a reading, you might want to try it, uh, changing where you're taking your measurement from. All right, well, I hope that's helpful and I'm gonna keep reporting the, the racket stiffness and I just wanted to explain how I'm getting that number and feel free to comment if you think this is a useful or, or um, crazy idea. All right, thanks a lot. Mm -hmm.